So whether I have to give instructions to anyone about how to use an application or how to just perform some tasks in on their computer. Well, there's a great application that Windows actually used to use in their beta version when they're developing Windows 7 for developers to show other people what they've done. And if I go into the start and type psr.exe and hit enter, this now loads up the screen, the problem step recorder. So what I might want to do is run it as administrator. So on this computer, I have administrator rights, and that means that I can show anything that I'm doing. So I'm going to run it as an administrator and click yes. Now when I press start record, everything that I'm doing is going to be recorded in a series of screenshots. So if I want to show uh, perhaps my parents how to load up Microsoft Word, I could perhaps come into here, uh, type Word, Microsoft Word comes up at the top and I can press that. And all the times I'm doing things like this, so Microsoft is recording my keystrokes. And so Microsoft Word is now loading. So perhaps if I want to give instructions to my mum and dad how to write a document, so this is a test document, and then show them how to save it to their desktop. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to go File, Save As. I'm going to just drag it here. I'm going to scroll up, click on my desktop, and keep the name as the same, and click Save. So now I've finished, I'm going to stop recording. What Windows 7 is now going to do is with this folder, it's going to save it as a zip file. So perhaps if I put it as training document, and it's automatically being saved to my desktop. So I'm going to click Save. And now it's producing a file. So let's have a look at what we've got. It is a zip file. So what happens when I load up the zip file, it produces a .mht file. It's like a web page file, which is an HTML, but HTML normally has multiple files and a folder accompanying it with it, and that contains the pictures that make up that web page, whereas a .mht actually has everything embedded into that single file. So if I now load that up, it now gives me a screenshot view and if I scroll down, what it's doing is it highlights everything that I did. So this is where I opened up the start. I typed in Word, clicked on Microsoft Word, loaded up a document, started typing some text. And then what I did was I clicked on the Save As. So it's step-by-step -step instructions that uh, I can now also edit as well because at the very bottom, is the actual text itself about what I did. So what I can do is kind of clean this up a bit and send that to my mum and dad. So very, very useful and powerful tool to create screenshots and record exactly what I'm doing, a series of steps. There we go.